Everybody knows that a bread knife is notoriously difficult to sharpen. So my train of thought is let's use our bread knife in a way that it doesn't go dull very quick and doesn't damage our cutting board. And that's what today's video is all about. Bread knives are so good at their job because of these teeth that you see across the edge. That serration is gonna bite into the loaf or into the crust of the loaf. And it does a good job of cracking through that hard crust and then not absolutely obliterating or squishing that tender bread on the inside. A bread knife is perfect for a lot of your cakes, pies, you know, biscuits, anything where you're dealing with a delicate crumb, a bread knife is your best bet. Now, don't go leaning on this guy for all of your, you know, your tomatoes and whatnot. You don't need that because obviously you've been to knifeware.com and you've got a sharp knife. Use that for your veggies. Your bread knife is for your bread, okay? These teeth, they vary from knife to knife, okay? I've got one that's got very small teeth and lots of them. I find that's really good for most jobs. If you were focusing on something where you wanted, uh, you were doing more bread or more cakes and you need something more delicate, Tojiro makes one that's got a nice wavy edge that's gonna make less crumbs on the board. It's gonna be more gentle for your delicate baked stuff. But I find this guy is really, really good. When you do need to sharpen it, it's a bit of a pain, like I alluded to in the beginning. So you actually need to take a file and file out each individual tooth. So it's a lot easier to just be gentle on the knife and not need to sharpen it because it's made out of a Japanese steel. That means it's a harder steel, which means it's gonna make a sharper knife that keeps its edge for longer, right? So hopefully we've got a bread knife that's gonna last us the rest of our lives, okay? I'm gonna get into, I'm gonna slice up some bread, show you this technique that I like to use. I'm gonna adjust the camera and we'll get right to it. Okay, so let's call this the patented knifeware way to slice a loaf of bread. You can see I've already cut a couple off of here, call them a practice round, make sure I wasn't gonna make a fool out of myself. But what I like to do is figure out how much you want. You know what, that's a good amount for a sandwich. You could go nice and thick if you were gonna do like something open-faced with like a, like a ton of juicy meat or something on top. But you know what, Go. Uh, we'll go sandwich, sandwich width. And we're gonna just kind of get it going, cut down until we get about like right to the bottom crust. I'm not pushing too hard. You see it's still together. Then I flip it up a bit and just lots of little saws to get through. And then very little of the knife actually touches the cutting board. We don't wanna scratch up our beautiful cutting board and we don't wanna dull out our knife too quickly. So here it is again. Saw it, call it, I don't know, nine tenths of the way through, it's still attached. Just lift it up a bit and just saw that down. The knife almost never comes in contact with the cutting board. And so it's not gonna go dull very quickly. If you're taking the time to do this carefully, your knife should stay sharp for damn near forever. And you won't have to worry about getting out that little file and you know, spending your whole afternoon sharpening one bread knife. Thanks for watching our, you know, our knife where it cooks, how to slice a loaf of bread. It might seem a little bit mundane, but I think this one little uh, bit of information might help you enjoy your bread knife for a lot longer. You won't have to replace it. You won't have to worry about sharpening it nearly as often. You'll get the most out of it. So remember, um, head over to the website, www.knifeware.com. Um, we've got a ton of great options made by Tojiro, Miyabi, Tadafusa makes a really awesome bread knife. Um, scope things out. If you need any help, you can always hit us up at hello at knifeware.com. Someone will be right with you to help you out. Um, yeah, go for it. We'll see you on the website. And don't forget, sharp knives rock.